Today we'll be doing the a J cross crossword puzzle. Uh, it's in we're going to be using the Hot Potato software, and instead of last time where we used J match where we had it just create an HTML web page, today we're going to create a SCORM package, a set of standards where it can be installed in content management systems, course management systems like OLH uh, Moodle. So let's get started. So I start the Hot Potatoes program and I choose J cross, create a crossword puzzle. And under title I call J cross Moodle. The first thing I'm gonna do is click on manage grid and click on automatic grid maker. Enter each word or phrase on a separate line. So I'm going to copy and paste a list that I've already created. And I'll click Make Grid. And there it goes. So the grid is already created. Now I just need to add the hints for the questions. So you add the hints, add clues for each word. So for administrator, Moodle user responsible setting up Moodle software on the web host, and then I'll click OK. And for example, paste. The hint will be Control V, and I'll click OK. And I'll come back once I've filled all these out, and we'll continue loading it up into Moodle. I filled out all of the hints for each of the words. And now I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to go to Options, Configure Output. I'm going to click Buttons. And I'm making sure that these two buttons, Include Next Exercise button, is deselected. And Go to Contents button is also deselected. deselected. I'll click OK. Oh, on timer. I'm not going to set a time limit for this. And on appearance, I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to click OK. And I'll go File, Save. And then I'll go File. Instead of a create a web page where it will be installed as a link, I'm going to create a SCORM package. The difference in a SCORM package is that Moodle will record the scores. So I'll click Create SCORM Package. I'll call it JCross Moodle. And it'll be saved as a zip file. So I'll click, I'll click Save. It, so I'll replace it. It says, would you like to open or view the zip file? I'll say no. And now to upload the SCORM package into our web page. I'm logged in. Editing is on. I'm going to go to And here, to upload a SCORM package, we click on Add an Activity, and not SCORM actually, uh, it's Hot Potatoes. This is um, a module that you have to get your web administrator to load up and set up for the Moodle page. But here it is, Add an Activity and a Hot Potatoes Quiz. Choose the file. I'll go under Hot Potatoes directory and I'm going to make a new folder. I'll call it JCross. Call it JCross. I'll create it. I'll 
go into that folder and now I'm going to upload a file I click on the browse button I'll upload the jcross moodle dot choose this one. I'll leave the default settings. <coughs> and I'll save and represent the course. And here it is. I'll click on it and see if it works. Alright. Great. So, to enter, it says the crossword, complete the crossword, then click on check to check your answer. If you're stuck, you can click the hint to get a free letter. Click on a number on the grid to see the clues or clues for that number. So if I click on number 6, control C, that's copy. Seven. Collaborator dictionary where students can add definitions to a list of keywords. That's a glossary. Click enter. <coughs> Control V. Let's paste. Right click. There's two, 10 down and 10 across. 10 down is a way to add HTML content directly on the course main page. That's a label. And 10 across. Learning pathway consistent of HTML. This is a lesson. But I'll try the hint button. Oh, there's an E, there's an S, and I'll say lesson. Press check. Your score is 36%. Some of your answers are incorrect, and correct scores are like that. And there's your J cross crossword puzzle. I think a lot of kids will have fun with this. See you back in the next episode.